Yo guys, today I'm gonna show you how I made the drop from Won't Forget You Remix. Let's go! So, um, this idea starts uh, maybe in 2020 or 2021 when I did this layer. Not with this mixing and with this power, but um, yeah, uh, the, the layer is the same. And um, it was uh, an original, but I, I use it to make the, um, this remix. So um, I love Shaw's tracks and I chose this one to make a remix, a future rave remix. And yeah, let's see how I made the drop. So first I'll show you it in three parts. The percussion, the, um, the patterns and then the ambience and the effects. So let's listen the drums first. So this is a, a simple drums that I use. I use a powerful punchy kick. Oh, sorry. I use this powerful punchy kick, as you can listen. And for processing this kick, I use EQing, just cut, just cut some lows. Fruity blood overdrive to give more power and a bit of distortion in the kick. Fruity limiter and some kick start to cut some extension of the kick. <clears throat> then uh, I make these drums, I, I cut the sample to combine the melody of the leads, as you can hear. And here the processing is simple too, EQing again, I give some mids here and I cut some highs, high frequencies. I give some delay and sidechain I don't put sidechain in in the um, the hundred percent because the sample is uh, already have some some sidechain so I don't need to, to put it in the mass enough the claps the simple claps with a simple mixing just EQing as you can see I give some mid and high frequencies and cut the lows Then, right, this is the right, 
and again as you can see some sidechain because this right C is so clean so I don't need to cut the low frequencies and now the this add with some shaker for uh, some shaker noise and the processing just a queuing to cut lows a queuing to give some high frequencies and cut some mid frequencies and again sidechain so the sub to complete the kick and this is the powerful sub and in sub processing I just uh, cut mid frequencies and high frequencies and just leave the sub frequencies that I need some base frequencies and low mids not too much low mids as you can see more EQing I give some sub and bass as you can see here frequencies to give more power in this sub Camel Crusher, British Clean. I almost use uh, British Clean. Um, and sidechain again. The base of the drop, this is the atom base to mark the, um, the track and to give some different aspect in the music and here I give another equ uh, equalizer from Fab filter and again I cut lows and high frequencies and I just give some mids here OTT this is a free um, VST from Xfer and again sidechain This is the steps. <clears throat> These steps uh, was inspired in David Guetta and Morton style uh, because they they are the fathers of Future Rave and uh, a lot of other DJs like like Maddox Hardwell and some other artists use these steps to make uh, big room techno uh, songs. This is the processing from step one. Reverb, equalization. Here I cut some high frequencies. I give some high mids and give some mids and cut low frequencies as always. <laughs> and give a, fru a fruity limiter. In, and in the step 2, I just cut some mids and give some high frequencies. And step 2 has in the buzz, in the same buzz of the leads in the drop. The drop leads, my layer. I 
I just use four leads to create this layer. And this is the processing from lead one, a queuing. I cut the low frequencies and a bit of low mids. Sound goodizer. Give more powerful here. In this lead and more equalization to give some high mids and some low mids and and some low mids frequencies. Again I cut the low frequencies. And the second lead I just give equalization. I cut the lows again. I give this camel crusher to create um a very particular uh, distortion to this lead and it sounds so cool and more equalization to give some mid frequencies and cut the lows again in the third lead I just use a queuing to give some high mids, mids and high frequencies and here in the fourth one, I just give some mids and cut the die frequencies a bit. In the buzz, I almost always use this buzz in all of the, the, the leads that I use. Progressive house, uh, big room, and yeah, uh, in general, I use this mixing, but sometimes I change. So, a queuing to cut low frequencies and some high frequencies that create disturb in music. Here, I give some high mids and uh, some mids and low mids to give more power in this in these frequencies and now I use Fruity Stereo in answer as you can see I just um, use this now Ozone Imager OTT Camel Crusher British Clean is uh, the, the Camel Crusher preset that I use in almost of my uh, in almost all my tracks Peak Controller to Sidechain River Fruity filter to create um, an automation clip to filter the leads in a build up and in the, the break and kickstart 70% as you can see. So uh, uh, I have two pads in the music, this one and this one <clears throat> sorry so two pads I use uh, Equalization, I cut the lows, more equalization to give some needs. Fruity limiter and kickstart. 
a simple processing. And for the second pad, I cut some low mids and high frequencies and the low. The low frequencies uh, you need to cut in all elements. Just kick and soup bass can have the low frequencies, you know. So I had these two pads in the drop to create more ambience and give a different power in the drop. Let's check now the ambience and the drop. simple ambience and here I give a different processing in the first one I cut low frequencies I give some Valhalla super massive to to create more ambient sound I give this such a, uh, this reverb to create more ambient sound. Another reverb, this one is from FL Studio. More equalization here. I give some mids and some high mid frequencies. This balance I don't use. So fluty limiter again kickstart and this G-Tune it's just to see the note <clears throat> and in the second one I use equalization to cut lows cut some low mids and mids kickstart and this G-Tone not make nothing, it's just where I see the note. Noise. This noise. And a simple processing, just some high queuing to leave just um, the high frequencies and kickstart. And here you have the, the FX, this FX is so clean so I don't put nothing in the processing. And yeah guys, uh, this is how I made the drop of Won't Forget You Remix. Hope you like it, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe my channel. See you!